Hey guys, welcome to Callus Fight Night. This was not the intended match. It was supposed to be I bit him against our champion Helpona, but as I know I've mentioned a number of times, Helpona has a job that has a volatile schedule and he's sometimes difficult to schedule with. Things change and this is one of those cases. He was not able, unfortunately, to make the originally scheduled time and I bit him, understandably, reasonably, was not willing to play at one in the morning so the only solution that I had was to just letting them know to go ahead oh I'm not logged into my account but yeah they're good to go uh, but yeah uh, the only solution that I had was to find a substitute and let me just tell them to go ahead tag matches uh, the only solution that I had was to find a substitute. I drew randomly. The first guy that I drew was a Lux, and he was offline at the time, never got back to me, so I drew another number. Second guy was Techless. As you can see, he obviously accepted. So here we are, and it's going to be whoever wins here between I bit him, the originally intended challenger, and Techless, the last minute substitute techless and thank you techless i appreciate you subbing in with very little notice cool thing to do appreciate that uh it's going to be the winner between i bit him and techless coming back to face the current champ helpona next week assuming they can make the schedule work like i said this is, this is a known thing with helpona it doesn't do it maliciously he's not like johnning the match just his job sucks his schedule is volatile and well this happens sometimes so, uh, looks like we have two relatively offensive teams here. I bet him is someone who really likes CM spam. That's one of the two archetypes that he plays very often, and that might be what we're looking at here. On the flip side of that coin, uh, for Techless, it could be a mixed offense. Uh, it could be uh, there could be a mag in the back. Very well looks like a mag physical offense. I mean, Zapdos obviously not physical, but it's still the best lead on almost any offensive team. Uh, so we could be looking at like a mag in the back and a generally physical, maybe slightly mixed offense for Teclas. But I think it's two offensive teams. So I don't think we're going to be going for a very long game here by any means. I think this one's going to end relatively quickly no matter how it ends. Great double there for I bit him. But does he get the better end of this matchup? A lot of the time Doug Trio does not one hit KO Titar. And indeed it comes up very short. And Double Edge is going to result in a trade, actually, which is awkward, because now they both have to decide what to do now. So Kuhn at 80, Salabi 64, Rashi 88, Zapdos 75, Metal, uh, Metagross, not Metal Gross, Metagross at full, Arrow at full, and we have an unrevealed, previously unrevealed, Smeargle coming in for Techless here, which is interesting. Slowbro going to be the answer for I bit him. Interesting. So I guess this is his take on using a bulky water still, but on CM spam. Now, Kuhn kind of counts. A lot of the time on CM spam, the Kuhn is going to be either CM sub two attacks or just CM three attacks. It's not a traditional bulky water. It's usually EV'd very aggressively. This definitely looks like a CM spam. So I think we might be looking at a CM slow bro as well, which actually has a pretty good move pool, believe it or not. Slowbro learns weird things that you wouldn't think it would learn, like Thunderbolt and Flamethrower and that kind of stuff. It also has Psychic, it has Surf, it has Ice Beam, all sorts of weird shenanigans. Uh, so Slowbro, I mean, its its problem is not its move pool. Its move pool is one of its better points. Uh, the reason Slowbro is not used more often primarily is that it doesn't resist sand the way that Swampert does. It doesn't, basically, it doesn't do anything better than... Uh, then Kuhn, Milo, or Swampert does. Uh, it does have a slightly better move pool, but it is overall flat out just worse than Kuhn if it's trying to play the CM role. Uh, as far as just being pure bulk, it's just worse than Swampert, being not sand resistant and also having a couple of undesirable random weaknesses that come from the psychic type, such as Bug or Dark. And then as far as Milotic, just flat out having Recover is better than just not having Recover. The only recovery move in this gen that Slowbro has, because remember, Slack Off doesn't exist yet, and it doesn't actually learn Recover yet, uh, the only thing it could do is rest. If Slowbro had Recover in this gen, even if Slack Off isn't a thing, if it just had Recover in this gen, we'd be talking. It, it might really be a Mon. If it could be like Calm Mind, two attacks, Recover, I think Slowbro would be the real deal. 
but it doesn't. And all right, let's not miss that. That was a critical hit psychic that really, really mattered there. Aerodactyl would have been safe there 1 million percent of the time from any Celebi attack at all that isn't a crit. Whether it had been Psychic, HP Grass, Giga Drain, HP Fire, whatever. Even if it was some random hidden power that is super effective. HP Water or something that doesn't exist on Celebi. Even that could not have killed the Aerodactyl there without a critical hit. But there was in fact a crit that was obviously lucky. Relevant break there for I bit him. That could matter a lot if we're just calling a spade a spade. Unfortunately, uh, Aerodactyl is generally one of the strongest pokes that you can have against a cm spam team because it just comes in after every kill from the cm spam and just forces things out or gets a pick or whatever it's very difficult to deal with it's one of the best pokes in this matchup and unfortunately i bit him i mean fortunately for him but unfortunately for techless i bit him get the the one-off crit he didn't even have multiple opportunities it was just a one-turn window bam found it sniped it and with the aerodactyl down this is going to get quite a bit harder for Tequist than it otherwise needed to be. It'd be hard to argue that I bit him is not ahead at this point. I don't think this game is over. I think something in the back, like a DD Mens, for example, DD Gyro, whatever it may be, could be very helpful here for Tequist, some kind of sweeper. And we are looking at a 3-3 since the Coon goes down. Now here's the Celebi, kind of low. Uh, we haven't seen anything as far as hidden power or drill pack or whatever. If it has HP ice or drill pack here, that would be very helpful for Teclis. Doesn't appear to have those things, but what he does have is T-Wave, which is going to make the cell be a lot more manageable, even if the Zapdos itself doesn't necessarily kill it. Hidden power there is fire, just in case meta comes in, which did not. It's going to be good enough, and then Earthquake, even though that's resisted, is also going to be good enough. We have last Pokemon Entei here. Weird team for I bit him, but this might be just what the doctor ordered, depending on the set. Entei often is going to have HP Grass, and if it does, Swampert takes a ton. Oh, so the whole game looks to come down to that Hydro Pump. If that missed, we're GG here, but I think that I bit him wins anyway. Maybe not. There's Salak Berry. There's an opportunity here for a Hydro Pump crit. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't even need one. I don't know. I mean, it's probably Super Rachi, right? I mean, if it's not a bulky Rachi, maybe a Torrent Range Hydro Pump is enough. But Teclas obviously knows the Kelk and thinks it's not enough. Or he wouldn't have gone for Ice Beam there. He would have pumped again. So either he was playing quickly and impatiently, because he certainly wasn't in any time or danger, or... He knew the Calc and knew that Pump wouldn't be enough. I'm not sure which of those is the case, but he went for the Freeze, which, if he is in fact correct that the Pump and Torrent range would not have been enough against the Rachi, and I don't know that that's the case. I don't know that it's not the case either. I just flat out don't know the Calc, but I don't know if the the max special attack Endeavor Pert in Torrent range can get the Rachi from that HP or not with Hydro Pump. I would kind of suspect that maybe it can or does get it, so I think maybe that was a mistake for Teclis, but... If he is correct that that would not have killed it no matter what, then he was certainly correct in going for the Ice Beam over the pump because obviously the 10% freeze has a higher chance of occurring than the chance of a critical hit on any given move other than like Slash or whatever, which isn't a move. Uh, so Hydro Pump there, I don't know. I can run the Kelk real quick. I, I really am curious. Let's just run that real quick. I really am curious. Let's find that out. Just I, I don't usually do this on screen, but I want to know. Is there even is there even a Super Rachi set? Uh, okay, well, let's just do it this way. Let's just do a blank set. Let's just assume, hypothetically, 252, 252. Timid wouldn't matter in this case. doesn't change anything. We'll say the one extra point is here just hypothetically and then on the other end we have the endeavor swampert uh so it's got the hydro pump and then we'll say i mean his hp i don't know exactly what it was but the point is he's a tour range let's say that he was at one hp let's see uh 64.6 to 76.3 percent if it was a super rachi uh, so let's see, what was he at HP-wise on that last turn? 20... Turn 23, was it? He was at... Oops, I missed it. Let's try that one more time. Not go so fast. 
There's the pump that kills the ante. 77%, 83%. So, yeah, uh, Teclas was right. Uh, Hydro Pump there had no chance to do it without a crit. He knew that. Uh, he would need to get the freeze with the Ice Beam. And he made the right play, and the 10% Miracle Freeze did not come. So Teclas played it right, simply didn't get there. As it turns out, that crit on the Aerodactyl, not surprisingly, mattered quite a bit. I think Teclas almost certainly wins this game had that crit not occurred. But Pokemon does, in fact, have variants. Who knew? All right, so uh, now we just need to figure out... Or no, we don't have to figure out Dick. We have our matchup for next week. I don't even have to do a drawing. It's going to be I bid him against Halpona. Almost forgot about that. Hopefully they can schedule for next week. Get something that works. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching.